Hey everyone, so welcome to this very fast, quick course about Open Copilot. It's a kind of a crash course on how we can use this open source tool to create AI Copilots for Trilla.com as an example. But you can basically uh, learn the concepts here and then create your own AI Copilot for your own products or for any product that you like. But first of all, what is an AI Copilot? AI Copilot is just a simple chat bubble that, you know, can be embedded on your website or on your own product. So the users can actually communicate with your product using text. So can they, they can describe what, whatever they want to do. And then this Copilot will translate these texts into actionable items. For example, Shopify introduced something called Sidekick, which is basically their own version of AI Copilots. And in Sidekick, you can actually ask, uh, you know, Shopify to, let's say, create discounts, analyze your data, and all of these things. In this example, um, yeah, the user asked to put everything on sale, and the Copilot was able to communicate with the backend APIs and perform the discounts automatically. It's basically a much better interface than uh, clicking around and opening tabs and doing all of these things. Like imagine if you want to add a discount on Shopify, you would need to go to the Offers tab and create a new discount, then fill it with values, and then create Save. But if you have an AI Copilot, you can just ask it what do you want whatever you want to do also and Shopify they also provide other uh, examples for example you can create a new blog post analyze the store or edit the theme and all of these things it's basically unlock flows that you really need a lot of time to do using clicking user inter, user inter, the normal user interface and clicking around and uh, that is a really powerful feature. And Shopify are not the only people that is doing that. I think uh, there is something called Windows Copilot. Well, basically, you will have a puppet in Windows that you can describe whatever you want, and this Copilot will translate it into actions and actual things. It's a pretty neat uh, thing, and it's just going big by the day. Um, what we will do today, we will pretend that we own a trailer. And then we will create an AI Copilot for Trello. And the concepts that you will learn from today, you can actually apply it almost in any other product. Uh, so if you, if you have an SaaS product or if you have anything else, you can use the same concepts to create an AI Copilot and embed it into your own product and then basically use it. Uh, Open Copilot is the tool that we will use to generate these AI Copilots, of course. And it's open source. Uh, it's under MIT license. It's a pretty flexible uh, open source license. And what we will do, we will install it locally. And then we will uh, prepare the API endpoints for Trello.com. And then we'll be, we, we will basically create a new copilot. So let's get started. First thing you will need to do is to clone this project. I already did, but yeah, you can go ahead and do it. And since I already did, I can just go ahead and click uh, make install so if i clicked here make install what will make install basically do is it will initiate uh, the open copilot interface and prepare the apis and everything that i need to get things uh, up and running okay cool we are uh, actually ready to go so here it says that i can access the open copilot dashboard from here so i will click here and yeah here we go we have um you know an entire dashboard for us to create these copilots. So I will go ahead and click and create copilot. Now there is actually really simple three steps to create a copilot. First of all, you will need to provide the ABI definition of uh, your product, in this case, trailer.com, because we will need to tell the AI how to communicate with that product. For example, when I say for a trailer, hey, please create a new board for me, I would accept, expect that the AI will understand what is needed here and then pick up the right ABI endpoint with the right payload and call it. So we will need to provide this Swagger definition. And if you don't know what is a Swagger, you can actually Google it. It's, it's pretty simple. It's just a way to define your APIs. And then Open Copilot will validate the API definition and it will make sure that everything is cool, everything is validated, you, all of your API endpoints are correct and they have the right description. And then you can 
integrate this Cobalt in your product, in this case in a trailer. So let's let's do it actually. So here we need the Swagger JSON. I already prepared um, a Swagger file for uh, Trello. Let's see it. So, you know, these are most of the actions that you need on a Trello. So basically you can create a new board, you can delete board, uh, you can get board by ID, and of course you can also update a board. Also, you can do actions, creating cards, creating filters, uh, sorry, getting fil filters, and you can also delete cards and create lists and all of these things. Uh, so it's basically pretty simple API um, definition. What I will do, I will try to export this one as a JSON, and we have it here. Then I will go back to, uh, sorry, to uh, Open Copilot. Then I will put this one here so it's uploaded now i will make I'll make sure that i read the instructions it basically says yeah make sure that you add a valid json so i will click next step now this is the next step actually which is the validation and the recommendation and here we did a great job everything is valid we have a description of every single endpoint um, we have a valid uh, operation id for each endpoint we have a good number of endpoints and we have a support authorization uh, you know, sometimes your back end might have some sort of authorization or authentication. Open Copilot currently supports two types, OAuth2 uh, and the basic auth tokens. So let's go to the next step. And yeah, actually that is it. Um, this is our Copilot. Now what are we will do next, we will copy this uh, uh, JavaScript code and put it in the head tag in your HTML. It's really, really simple to uh, integrate your copilot within your product. And this is the easiest way. There is also another way using MBM where you can install the chat bubble using MBM. You can find it in the documentation. So I already did that in, a, in, in this HTML file, uh, which is basically the same. So I added a new button here with an id called trigger selector so whenever i click on this button it will open the new copilot and then i copied the, the same code base from here and i have added it here uh, basically this is the initial message uh, this is the token which is the copilot token and this is the trigger selector which is the selector or the button or the div that when i click on it will open the copilot and then this is the ABI URL, which is the backend URL of the Copilot, because Open Copilot can be self-hosted, so you will need to provide this one. And here is the most important piece of information, which is the authorization. And Trillo require uh, token-based actually authorization, and I just provide it here as a header. And I think that is it. So let's open it. And when I click on this button, ta-da! We have the Copilot widget here up and running, which is awesome. So let's ask the Copilot simply a question like, what can you do? It's just a very simple question about what I can do. So the Copilot itself knew what it can do. It, it, know, it knew that it's, it will handle Trello board and it, it can create them, delete them, and do all of these things, which is pretty awesome given that the only thing that we have provided is a Swagger file. Um, okay, let's go ahead and create, for example, a board. I'll say like, please create a new board called um, test, and let's do it. Now, what will happen in the background, Open Copilot will take this message map it with the right ABI call, and then execute it with the right parameters automatically, and then come back with the results. And here it says that it has been ex executed successfully, so I can open it. And yeah, it created a new board called test. If I go back to the organization here, I think it's an open cobalt space, and open the board, I can see it here. Uh, but this is a very, technically very simple uh, request we can make it a bit more, uh, let's say, complex. You know, a question where I can ask to create a board and creating a list and then creating a card and fill, of the, fill that with information. 
uh, which usually is a bit boring when you are doing it via the UI, via the buttons and the normal uh, mouse clicks. So here is the request. So the request here says, create a new Trello board about migration project, add a list, and then add a card about why this project is super important for the company. So let's see how it will goes. Cool. So here it says that the Trello board for the migration project has been created. Here is the board and here is the card. Let's open the card actually and see if it's actually there. Yeah, cool. Uh, so it's created, it created a, a, a board called migration project and it automatically created the list and then added the description. That is really awesome. So if you think about it, you can do a lot of complex stuff here um, without clicking any button. And the nice thing that this copilot can be embedded anywhere in your product. So in case of a Trello, they can have it here as a button. And once I click on it, this chat bubble will show up and then I can ask it to do things. Imagine a case scenario where you want to fill the board with so many uh, manual work and you just can ask it for ask the copilot to do it and it will do it by itself and this is just a simple uh, thing from open copilot now the second question is what if my apis have, have some sort of a complex business logic that is not intuitive for the ai for example there is um, a business logic that requires calling multiple api endpoints that is not easy for the ai to know about it here, you can actually help the AI by defining these flows. So if you go to the flows tab, and this is 100% optional, it just depends on your use case, you can load your Swagger file one more time here, and then you can see all of these um, APIs up and running in a really nice thing. I can define the flow. For example, I can define a flow called um, fill cards and um, I don't know, fill cards and delete the board. We say it's just a random thing. So the description, this flow will create a board, then add card, then it will delete it, for example. So I have created this flow now, and I can now basically call the endpoints by myself. So I can say, First of all, you need to create a new Trello board. Then you will need to create, of course, a list to add this board. Now uh, you can find it. Where is it? I think it's this one. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, I, let me remove this one. I don't need it. Um, we need to add a new card. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So we next we need to create a new list. So this is the board and this is the list. It will create a new list, and then we need to create a card, and then finally we need to delete the board. And that is it. I just defined the board, the define the flow, and there is no need to define anything else. The 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 copilot itself will know that the board to be deleted here is the board that has been created, and. So whenever the user asks something similar to fill card and delete it, which is anything that match the description of this flow, it will execute this flow by itself. So you can also define so many of these flows and you can basically help the copilot to do things. And the final feature that we have is the settings feature. Here you can change the, the tone, the language, the uh, description, of this copilot. For example, if you want this copilot to speak in Spanish, you can ask the copilot that you should only respond in Spanish, for example, and it will start doing that. So I click save here and whenever I message this copilot, it will only answer in Spanish. And you can also use it for marketing, for SaaS Copilot, for accounting, and for all of these things. I hope you liked this product. Let me know if you guys if you need anything, and see you later.